Hi, my name is Ruben Alves. I'm from Robotic Knight Academy. And today you are going to see how we can see a raw image that is being published on a remote computer. How can we see this image on our own computer? In order to show this, you are going to use Robotic Knight Academy. And uh, let's wait here until the environment loads. It takes some seconds, but okay, no more than 10, let's say. It's loading yet. Okay, here we have a simulation already loaded. Let me close here these instructions because you are not going to follow them now. Okay, if we check here, we already have a simulation with a robot. And if we check here the topics, raw topic list, we can see that we have also a camera camera okay and you also have a laser uh, laser okay and okay here are all the topics if i want to see the image being published on this topic for example that in this computer i have to to let me open here my terminal uh, as you can see here the font size is small so let me maximize okay it's better if I check here on topic list, I have this error message, you are unable to communicate with master. This happens because I don't have a raw score running on my own computer. But it's not going to be a problem because we are, not, we are going to change our ROS master order to point to the remote computer that's running on Ignite Academy. If you check here our environment, we can see that we have here a ROS master order pointing to our own computer, localhost. We have to change it to point to Ignite, to this computer. So we have to check the IP, the external IP of this computer here, this Linux, Linux. If you check here, LSB release, we can see it's a Linux Ubuntu. So let's here see here, get external IP Linux. Let's see here this, this answer here. Here we have a question and here in an answer. Let's see, let's try this, this command on our, on our Ignite Academy. Okay, here we have the external IP. So, let's change export ROS master URI to be in this format, but with the remote IP instead of localhost. So, HTTP, our IP and port. Now let's try host topic list again. If you check here the last time it did, d didn't work. Now let's try again. And here we have it. Now we ha are having all the talks that are being running, are being published, advertised in this remote computer. Now let's suppose I want to run RVs to see the images. So ROS run RVs, RVs. Let's wait until it loads and we are going to try to see the image being published on that camera image raw topic. And okay, here we have an error. Let me close here because you are not going to see the, the image if you have this error. The problem is, couldn't find this address. This is because this is the name of this remote computer. If you check here the host name we have here. But our computer doesn't know where this computer is located so we have to change our vi sudo vi at c hosts let's change here open this file and at the end let's add here the the ip external ip that we got with that that uh, that comedy uh, where is it uh, okay, it's in here the IP and the computer name. Let's copy it here is and paste. We put the IP space and the computer name. Save. Now, if you run our ROS run RVs again, you are not going to have this problem. If you can see here, now we can ping this IP address, this computer name. For example, ping. Okay, it's working. Now, ROS run RVs RVs and try to see the image that are being the 
are being published. That's why to our VC loads. And as you can see here, these commits are being executed in my own computer. As you can see here, for example, this is my desktop and this is my terminal. So RV is here and the web browser here where Ignite Academy is run. So here in the RVs, let's add here a laser uh, or oh, image, I mean image. Let's select here a topic, uh, camera image hall. Mm, okay, let's wait until if we, if we receive any message. Okay, we are already receiving the message here. And as you can see here on the stats, we are receiving 7, 8, 9, 10 images. So it's working. Now let's suppose I don't want to see the image, I want to see the laser. Let's see if it works. I just have to add here a laser, laser scan. And also select here, let me close this right tab here because you're not using them, using it. So let me check in here, the topic laser is Kobuk laser scan, it's okay. Let's see if we start seeing the messages. Let's see here the stats. We have a problem because Okay, the fixed frame here is map, but our we have to change it to basic link in this case. Basic link. Okay, now you can see here the laser, as you can see. The message being received, 100 to 100 being received constantly. And as you can see, this is my own computer. But in order to run this, I just I have to install ROS on my own computer. So let me close here RVs, as you can see it works. Uh, okay. And if you check here, my ROS environment variables, mm, no, I have here ROS installed, ROS connect, and this is my own computer. So let's try to run now image viewer, rkt, rkt image viewer, to see if it, okay, our this works, but now let's see another tool like this. But of course it's going to work because as you can see RVs work so this is going to work also. Here we have select a topic, in this case image hall. Okay, we are already receiving here. So so easy no? You just have to install ROS, export your ROS master order to point it to the remote computer, and to know the IP of the remote computer you can use this command here. Okay, that was shown here and add the name of the computer to your etc host you can see the host name host name is this one and we just add it here to our etc hosts so it's working that's it guys i hope you enjoyed the video and if you liked this video don't forget to subscribe our channel we are publishing videos every single day so Feel free to join and subscribe. See you.